This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fowlfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com five-part series on a sneak peek at Google Voice. Now, in this last part of our five segments, we're going to look briefly at voicemail in Google Voice. And like everything else, it's just cool. So here, I'm in the Google Voice interface on the web. I can see I have something in my inbox, which is the voicemail. It's also under voicemail. So I can click voicemail. I called and left a message for myself. And this you can see that it's been transcribed into text. If I want, I can actually listen to it. So let's pretend that it wasn't me who called. Hi, it's me. I'm the... See? So it's got it exactly right. Hi, it's me. I'm on my way back. Now, if I want, I can just click here. I can call the person. I can send them a text message. I can click here. I can say, Mark is read. Add a note to it. So it gives you a way to like add a comment or a note to a voicemail that will remind you of something later. You can block the caller. You can email them. You can download the recording. Or you can embed it in a website. So this is just too cool. And then, and then, if that wasn't enough, when you get the voicemail come in, you can have it notify you via email and or via SMS text message. So you basically don't even have to listen to voicemail. You have voicemails you don't want to listen to. You can just read the text and then deal with them from there. In concluding this five-part series, I have to say that in the amount of time I've been working with Google Voice, I'm just amazingly impressed. I'm going to be switching all of my numbers over to Google Voice. And when Google Voice is more officially released, we'll be doing a 10-part series and going into all of the features in more depth. So this concludes the five-part series on Google Voice, and that's all there is to it.